Hello everyone and welcome to Short Press Gaming and today we're back with some more Pokemon Doubles. I almost said VGC. I mean technically it is VGC 2015, but this is Pokemon Doubles Battle Spot Ladder. We're back again with the Scarf Primeape team. And I was just sitting here thinking before the episode, I don't know that I've used a Scarf Pokemon in Pokemon VGC 2016 yet. So we might have to be trying that over on that series. Again, we are still doing Pokemon VGC 2016. It's just moved over to Showdown because Battle Spot no longer has that rule set. But again back with the primate we have two wins so far so let's see if we can get two more let's see if we can go to the top go to the tippy top <clears throat> with this here ladder we see 15 11 rated player from ontario canada let's see if i can get my snapchat up in time oh i see a blissey already that's gonna be annoying and a cresselia and a melodic you've gotta be kidding me cresselia melodic blissey lucario uh, Rose Raid and Seraptor. So automatically, I want to bring Primeape. Primeape's going to hit that Blissey really hard. It can also knock out the Lucario because he probably has nowhere choice. And I can U-turn out of there if it becomes a big deal. Um, <clears throat> Thunderous is also going to be really good, so I could lead Primeape Thunderous. Heatran won't be bad either. And then we need something for that that uh, Cresselia, and I'm saying Stabilize. Sableye does have Shadow Ball and Calm Mind and Recover, so Sableye is going to be looking really, really good against that Crest. Maybe even that Blissey, because we can just burn it and then stall it out, because it probably only has Seismic Toss. So Sableye is going to be our down-to-the-wire kind of guy. Rose Raid Cresselia. Oops, I just did something weird. All right, there we go. Very interesting leads here. So automatically with Primeape, I'm actually just going to Ice Punch the Rose Raid. And go for Taunt on that Crest. I don't know what the Crest wants to do. I don't want it to do whatever it's trying to do. So we're going to try and stop any, anything wacky that's going to be trying. We see Ice Punch from Primeape. I actually have my notifications on my phone, which is the first time I've done it in like months. Tries to set up Reflect and Toxic Spikes from the Rose Raid. Very interesting decisions from my opponent. <clears throat> But this turn, I'm actually going to switch out my Primeape for the Heatran. And we'll just hit and power ice the Rose Raid. Rose Raid. I kind of want to see what that notification was, but <laughs> they'll get rid of my Snap Story. Cresselia is going to go for Ice Beam into Thunderous. I thought for sure he's going to sidekick my poor Primeape. And Dazzling Gleam. <clears throat> Interesting move from the Rose Raid, but Heatran's going to take that very well. And it's going to bring Citrus Berry for Thunderous. So now Thundy Scrundy can get off its Hidden Power Ice, which should knock out this Rose Raid here without a problem. Without a problemo. There goes the Rose Raid. There goes the Rose Raid. Reflect Cresselia. Very interesting. Very interesting. We see Melo Mel what? Melodic? Hello? Uh, Heatran's out here. I mean, I assume he's just going straight for, like, Scald on Heatran. <clears throat> so I'm obviously going to protect that boy, and then we're going to Thunderbolt the Melodic. <coughs> Could Ice Beam. Could Ice Beam here to get rid of Thunderous, but I'd rather get Thunderous out of the way, to be honest. He's kind of just sitting there, being annoying. Cresselia's going to Ice Beam Thunderous. It's a very fast Cresselia. Or maybe it's just because I have no investment in my Thunderous' speed, I'm pretty sure. Thunderbolt's going to bring Melodic down to half. We see Icy Wind come out from Melodic. It's going to connect with my poor Thundy. My poor Thundy Scrundy. Speed is going to fall. And we'll see the Leftovers recovery on the Melodic as well. Cresselia's Taunt does wear off, so I think I have to get a last-ditch effort on the Taunt Spectrum. Um, I don't necessarily need this Heatran, so I'm just going to Earth Power the Melodic. And <clears throat> taunt the Cresselia. It's because I don't want it setting anything up. We've seen Reflect. We've also seen Ice Beam. And that's I think that's it. He's just going to go straight for Ice Beam and Thunderous. Uh, I was kind of expecting it, but we can't let that Reflect get up. Because it's going to have Primate have problems. So we can get the Earth Power here off on the off here on the Melodic. It's not going to do very much. And Melodic goes for a cover. That's, that's annoying. That's rather annoying. And now we have to deal with Toxic Spikes on my poor little Sableye. 
on my poor little scrabble eye. And I'm going to bring it in here because I need to start setting up to get rid of this Cresselia. Unfortunately, we do get poisoned. <clears throat> I'm going to keep going for Earth Power on Melodic. And here I'm going to say Normal Sableye. And Calm Mind. This way I can uh, keep my Prankster. <coughs> Excuse me, keep my Prankster for a little bit. <coughs> oh, this is annoying. These two are annoying Pokemons. And I don't have the firepower to take care of them. Like I typically would with these teams. It's a, I've got a lot more bulk myself. But what can you do? We're going to set up Calm Mind so we can start getting some of that firepower. Plus, all of my Pokemon's moves will be reduced. Or my opponent's Pokemon's moves will be reduced. We're going to see Cresselia straight going for Ice Beam. It must, I mean, it could have Psychic, but of course, Sableye is immune. We're going to get Earth Power off on this Melodic. We're going to see a Scald finally go into the Heatran, but we are sur going to survive it for a turn. <clears throat> oh, something just happened with my computer there that I didn't like. Like, everything reset. I don't know what was going on there. Here, I'm just going to protect my Heatran. And go for another Calm Mind. Then we should be fine. Then I should be able to recover... Or... I guess I'll Mega Evolve on my following turn here. Get the Calm Mind off, of course. And let's see how much this Cresselia's Ice Beam is going to be doing. I wonder if he switches uh, targets here, since I'm setting up. Nope, he doesn't switch targets with the Melodic. <sighs> the stupid Melodic is going to be a problem. Alright. Alright. So Sableye is under 50, so we're going to have to recover here. Taunt's going to wear off. Uh, I wonder if he's got both screens, because that would be annoying. So I'm going to Mega Evolve and recover. <coughs> that would be annoying if he's got both screens. But I wonder if he expects my Sableye to have... Taunt as well. Uh, Mega Sableye finally coming out here. And let's see. We get to recover off because we still have Prankster for this turn. I'll bring us up fairly high. Yep, Cresselia has stupid light screen. God dang it. I do hate this team. I'm going to get Earth Power off, but of course light screen just went up, so it's going to do less of this Melodic. And we're going to see Scald come out. That's going to knock out my poor Heatran. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's basically just up to Sableye now. It's basically just up to Sableye now, because Primeape's going to have to come in, get one hit off, and then faint is essentially what's going to end up happening here. Especially because it's poison now. Interesting seeing the toxic spikes because typically you don't see those hazard moves in doubles because the matches are so short Ooh, close combat doing some nice damage to the melodic though <clears throat> i assume he scalds oh no he's gonna psychic here that should knock me out with the drop yep see a primate you tried you tried i guess i should have doubled and the melodic just got rid of it there Oh god, the Shadow Ball does nothing because of the light screen. And he's going to Mirror Coat me. Good thing I didn't attack him. I mean, I could knock him out here, though. Um, I was going to say, we saw that I went first, but he Mirror Coated. I kind of want to just get rid of Melodic here. I'm going to Shadow Ball it. Because Cresselia has to use Ice Beam, which is non-stab. Um, he could, of course, uh, recover here with Melodic. He's going to actually withdraw Malak, so whatever's coming in is taking a sh Oh, it's probably Blissey. Oh, it's Lucario! Okay. Well, Lucario might faint here. I don't think it will, though. Get the Ice Beam off. It's doing almost nothing right now. Shadow Ball into Lucario. God, that frickin' light screen. That frickin' light screen. Well, I have to recover here. I mean, he's going to be able to double attack me right now, which kind of sucks. 
Or she. It's a female, isn't it? Lucario has Earthquake? And it's non-Mega? What is going on over there? I mean, whatever it is, it's working because the Pokemon are so freaking bulky. But I'm going to be able to eat that because I'm max HP. Or max attack. Ma max defense. I am also max HP. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get this recover off. <clears throat> Uh, this poison's annoying, this poison's annoying. Alright, I'm gonna recover again, because I have to. Because I have to! This may end up coming down to Melodic versus Sableye. I haven't been keeping track of Screen's turn, but I'm assuming it's a Light Clay uh, little Cresselia. I wonder... Oh god, it's a Swords Dance Lucario. Oh boy, oh boy. Hopefully. Priscilla's gonna go for this Ice Beam. It's not gonna do a ton. Does, like, 12 damage. And get the rec recover. So I'm almost a full. I think the Lucario only has Earthquake for me. I'm gonna Shadow Ball him. I am gonna Shadow Ball him. There's the Earthquake. Let's see how much this is able to do. Oh yeah, we still eating those. We still eating those for days. We're gonna see Ice Beam come out from Cresselia. Owie. And Shadow Ball. Boom, should take out Lucario. There goes Lucario. So it's down to Melodic and Cresselia. Melodic has Recover. I have Recover. Cresselia, we haven't seen... Oh god, I think... I think he'll be able to take me out from here though. He thinks the worst of this situation. I mean, if he misplays and does recover with Melodic, then we'll be fine. We'll be fine then. And then I just have to take out the Cresselia. We're going to see Ice Beam from Cresselia. That should do about 10. And let's see how much the Skull does. Yep. He outbulked us. <clears throat> he outbulked us. I do hate teams like that, but we're using our own team like that, so what can we do? What can we do? Oh, Wells Fargo is sending me emails. I don't care, Wells Fargo. Get out of my face. Alright, so we're going to find, hopefully, a less stally match for this next one here. A less stally match for this next one here. But if you guys are liking this doubles time, be sure to hit that like button down below. So I know to continue this series. Our first loss was unfortunate. Uh, I don't know what we could have done differently. 1554 rated player from Hawaii. My dude, you're in the next game. Okay, I see some strange Pokemon here. Bring it up, bring it up. Okay, we see Mega Magnetric, Talonflame, Scissor, Ludicolo, Tyranitar, and Gengar. So, is that a manual rain team? Interesting. Interesting to say the least. <clears throat> I wish I had mirror code on this melodic. I wish I did, but I do not. Uh, Heatran's gonna be good as long as we can stop the rain from getting up. <clears throat> so I think we lead Heatran. We bring Thunderous. We bring Garchomp and Primate. I don't like not having bulk though. I think we can leave, leave Garchomp behind, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Let's leave Garchomp behind, 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 and bring Melodic. Poor Garchomp hasn't shown up to a battle yet. Poor Garchomp. A little dark. I should have turned the light on before this, but I don't want to mess with the camera now. Plus, my light's behind my monitor. All right, IBJ. What do you got for me? Heatran, Thunderous lead off. With Talonflame Ludicolo. I don't mind that one bit. I don't mind that one bit. Because then I just Heat Wave here. And I taunt the Ludi in case he's the one trying to set up the Rain Dance. He might fake out here. Probably fake out the Thunderous. Yep, there's a the fake out. Yep, on the Thunderous. Do we see a Flare Blitz, though? No, he's going to taunt my Thunderous. Okay, I see you, big doggy. I see you, big doggy. I'm just going to go for Heat Wave here. 
Does nice damage to both Pokemon. Not super nice, but fairly nice. I'm go for another one, and then I'm also going to Thunderbolt the Ludicolo. Because he's setting up rain over there. I can see it in his eyes. I can see it in his dumb eyes. And the Thun I mean the Talon Flame doesn't threaten me in the least bit right now. I've got an Electric type and a Steel Fire type out here. Talon Flame is gonna Brave Bird, I assume, into Thunderous. That's where he's gonna be doing the most damage. With a Brave Bird. Yeah, and see how little it actually does still with Thunderous. Thunderbolt into the Ludi. Heat Wave before the rain, which is very important, because it's going to do a little more damage than it was before. And Ludi actually goes straight for Scald, so not going for Manual Rain there. It's going to hit the Heatran, but Heatran's going to eat that for days. For days. So I can just continuously Heat Wave here and Thunderbolt the Ludi once again. I assume he goes for the same play there, right? He just Brave Birds, Thunderous, and uh, Scalds. He actually withdraws the Ludicolo. No Pokemon. Oh, wait. Manatric. Oh, Tyranitar. Okay. I was going to say, Manatric can come in and take my Thunderbolt from me, but he didn't do that, so... I'm going to see Brave Bird go off into the Thunderous again. We're going to be able to eat our Citrus Berry because of that. Um, nom nom. Citrus that up. And then Thunderbolt from Thunderous into the Tyranitar. We get the Paralysis. I was going to say, we we kind of need Paralysis here so Heatran can Flash Cannon the following turn. And good enough for us. We got it. And then Talonflame's going to faint to the uh, Heatran's Heat Wave. So getting very lucky there. Um, getting the Paralysis. So I didn't have to hope for Taunt to go away. So I could Thunder Wave it. <laughs> Manually. A Thunderbolt coming through for us. So either he brings in the Ludicolo, which I Thunderbolt and it should faint. Or... The Sizzy? Gengar. The Gengar comes in. So I'm going to protect my Heatran this turn. And I'm going to Thunder Wave the... Oh, I can't use Thunder Wave, sorry. Thunderbolt the Gengar. It is Mega Gengar, too, surprisingly enough. I thought it was... I, he could be running Double Mega for opposing rain teams, is what I'm thinking he has there. He doesn't have manual rain, he just has a anti-rain by bringing his own Pokemon that do well in the rain. Gengar's going to try and Shadow Ball Heatran, obviously, trying to get rid of it for the Tyranitar. We get the Thunderbolt off onto the Gengar. We see Rock Slide from Tyranitar, and it does unfortunately connect with Thunderous. Is this able to take us out? Hey, yup. Yup. Critical hit. I don't know that it necessarily mattered. I am bulky Thunderous, but it is a Tyranitar, so... Gengar will be buffeted by the sand. <clears throat> and then I can just bring in the Primeape to uh, close combat here. So I can... Ooh, I could actually just Earth Power the Gengar here. And then close combat... Ooh. I'm going to do it. Um, I had a little moment of... I shouldn't do this... <laughs> With uh, Primate, because now I can't attack the Gengar if he knocks out my Heatran, which is most likely what he does here. So Close Combat's going to knock out the Tyranitar. I mean, not that I really have any moves to hit the Gengar with anyway. We're going to see Shadow Ball from Gengar. Who does it connect with? The Heatran. Do we live that? Oh, we live on three. That's not good for him, because Earth Power should knock out the Gengar. Yep. Leaving us to face down a Ludicolo with a Choice Scarf Primate. And a Heatran. So it's looking good for us. I think we have this one. I think we have this one. Not a lot of strategy on our side this match. Just a lot of hitting him. Actually, wait. Flash Cannon is not a good idea because it's resisted. Heat Wave is the only non-resisted move from Heatran. But I have close combat. So he's just going to straight up forfeit. He could have went for Fake out there and then hope I missed with Heatran, but then the following turn I still have Close Combat Scarf. Scarf Close Combat. He must have known that because I outsped the Primate. I mean the Gengar. <coughs> so anyway guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, fortunately we got to we got to show off both Sableye and Primate. Primate having more su success than Sableye. Um, but Sableye was kind of buffing it out on his own there in that match, so he did he did good for what he was do for being by himself. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time. Stay sharp, everyone.